Friends, how many of us have them? Friends, ones you can depend on. Friends, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. This friend of hers who told us she's ready. She is going to the sixth dimension of hell. Sixth. These BBLs killing y'all. And the thighs don't match. Hello everyone, my name is Rogan and this is This Bahamian Gal. On my platform, I do social commentary and reaction videos. I encourage my audience to have private conversations in public. As promised in last week's video, I am reacting to some BBL surgeries gone wrong. This is one of those things that I've been wanting to talk about on my platform for a very long time. So this is the perfect time for us to have this conversation because you know, summer is just a few days away. So this is BBL season. You're gonna be seeing lots of people in the bikinis, the hot shorts, the sundresses that are gonna be kicked off in the back because you know, it's BBL season. So with that being said, let's get right to the video. One of the extreme cases of plastic surgery, I'm pretty sure this is not natural and that she either got fat injections or silicone injected into her buttocks and thighs. Many people wondered if it's painful, is she's having a hard time living her everyday life? And I guess we would never know, but injecting this amount of fat or liquid silicone is not only problematic in the aesthetic part, but brain fog, fatigue, discomfort, migration are just some of the symptoms that may happen later in the years. You see, everything is cool. Everything is, this girl, this, she looked bad. This guy looked bad. I'm so sorry. She looked, she looks horrible. It's just like, I don't even understand what I'm watching. It looks like a cartoon shape and it's just not, everybody wants this hourglass figure, but get the hourglass figure naturally. This just looks extreme. It looks like it's going to be extremely painful as she ages. Cause you, ladies, you have to remember you're going to age unless you pass away, you're going to age. And then you're going to have the weight of this bbl or whatever this is on your on your on your legs on your knees it's gonna be painful she looks horrible and to me a lot of times women focus on looking good in these um these tight outfits the fashion nova outfits the shein outfits and you know but what about when you have to wear like regular attire when you have to go to work i don't know what they do for a living but if you have to go into a professional setting how is this gonna look in like a suit in a blazer with a nice pants. It's just, it's going to look so weird that I, I just, I'm not even, I don't even know what to say about that. Men, if you're going to be watching this, you can tell me if you're attracted to that. I, I, I don't see anything that's attractive about that. So you guys, who you guys and the ladies who, who are into ladies, uh, you can weigh in and tell me if that's your thing. Cause I am just, it looks so cartoonish. I feel like I'm watching a cartoon, like an anime something. I mean, if she's moving, she seems like she got some moves, but child, please, don't make me sneeze. On to the next one. Look at you, so cute. She's ready. <sighs> For those of you who don't know, that's Summer Walker, whom, I mean, the girl can sing. I love her voice, but I don't know what possessed her to go and do this. She has a small frame, okay? A small frame. And the butt is like... It looks like a like a like a Dorito. It looks like a Dorito, like a like a like a, a triangle something poking out. It's not even like gun casing. And if you look at her, like her legs are so skinny. They're so skinny. I don't even know where they got the fat from because she wasn't a big girl. But it looks like gun casing, but not the you know, like some people's gun casing is nice and smooth. It looks angular, like a like a Dorito. That's all I can think about. Like a triangle. Like a Dorito. Like that just I, now, part of me is intrigued. I want to know what she looks like from behind because this ain't it. This reminds me of, like, y'all used to watch Martin. Y'all know the character Shanene who was, like, one of my favorites. I remember when Shanene was, like, playing basketball inside the hallway <laughs> and she had, like, this little pointy booty. It was like, what is this? That's what, It reminds me of, like, Shanene. All she needs is, like, the fanny pack and the braids. Child, please. This is no bueno. On to the next one. So this one is from Basketball Wives, of those of you who have ever watched. And I think this girl's name is Brooke. I don't remember her last name, but I Brooke had such a great shape. Like when she first came on the show, I don't know if it was a natural shape when she first came on, but it sure looked natural. And then I don't know what possessed her to go and do this. Like who, y'all are getting botched. Y'all are getting botched out here. Let's, let's play. Let's roll it. 
I'm gonna put the shower now look at this girl ass. <laughs> Wait, what in the ass f is this? She need to get that fit. Hot hey! I, I couldn't agree more. Hot mess. Bro I mean, it's like, let me see if I could draw this on something. Hold on, let me draw this. This is how the bungee look. And y'all know who y'all y'all know I'm Bahamian, so bungee is is butt. It looked like let me let me draw this. I don't know if it looked like this or if this any I don't feel like I even draw drew it like angular enough. Y'all can see that? Y'all can see that? That's what it looked like. Let me do another one. <laughs> Y'all see this one? It's like what the frick? This is what they bungee look like. Either like this, hold on. Huh? Or this. That don't even look attractive. And again, what you look like in the nude? What you look like? Let's see. I mean, wait, I'm not going to show her nude photo, but I'm just saying, let me see this again. Because th this girl's reaction is my reaction right here. Whoever this is reacting on TikTok. Now look at this girl ass. Wait, what in the ass is this? She need to get that fit. Hot damn mess. And the fact that these girls could stand around her and just act like completely normal. I know Shawnee and those girls are like laughing at her. Botched. Miss, get your money back. What people don't know when they're getting these looks is that BBLs carry the highest death risk of all cosmetic surgery. All. That's what's scary. And I wouldn't even want to put something in my butt. I mean, you know how much, how we sit so much throughout the day. I don't know. Just, anyway, let's keep going. Oh, this is one of y'all favorites, uh, Nicki Minaj, who the, the, the caption says she's having a wardrobe malfunction. I want you to just take a look at her butt because everybody always idolized Nicki's butt. I always thought she had a weird shape down below. I don't know if y'all like me. Do y'all ever like when y'all watching someone on TV, like put your hand over the butt and just be like, you would look so normal and nice if you didn't have that. Like, I don't know if that's just me. Is that just me? Don't make me feel like the weirdo here. Anyway, let's uh, look at Nicki Minaj's wardrobe malfunction, but pay attention to the cakes. Pay attention to the cakes. Yeah, I I see a lot of lost volume. That's what I, look at that. When she, look at this right here, when she jiggles, do, do, do. It's like the loose skin, that's not attractive. You gotta maintain the weight in order to maintain the look. You can't have extreme weight loss. You can't have extreme weight gain because you're gonna run into problems. And then the fat is taken from other areas of the body. If they're using that type of um, BBO where they're using the fat from their stomachs or their arms or their thighs to put inside the butt, like, this just not going to, I just don't even like how that looks. That just does not look good. Let's take a look at this other girl, Erica Banks. Someone says, keep it or trash. Let's just take a look again. not even giving what y'all said it was supposed to give no i wasted my money and it just it's the way it just like it's it the sh now let me draw this one again yeah we drawing today let me hold let me play it again so i can see it good so what send me my money back now my cash app is and open then you skinny legs right here let me draw these little skinny legs right here all right i ready this is what it looked like. That's what it looked like. Y'all can't tell me it. Let me play this again. Oh, I'm an artist. Y'all didn't know this? I'm an artiste. <laughs> that don't look good. Sorry, babes. Keep it or trash? Trash. I wonder how many of them, because I know some women come on TikTok and YouTube and all over and they, you know, express regrets about like their BBLs and saying like they wish they hadn't done it 
But I feel like a lot of these folks love it. Like they think it's sexy because they're wearing these outfits, which I mean, I wouldn't wear that outfit because that ain't even doing her no justice. But we're going to have a lot of regrets, especially now that the trend. See, this is when, what happens when you jump on trends. And I talked about this in the last video uh, when I was doing um, the video on turkey teeth, how people see all these celebrities and these TikTokers and these influencers get going off and doing things and they just jump on these trends and then it ends up hurting them in the long run. Um, but now here you have this girl with a butt that's just not even attractive. If you do a BBL and it looks awesome, more power to you. Because I've seen some good BBLs, but I've seen more botched B B BBLs and I've seen good BBLs. This don't look good. Please don't travel right after you get a BBL. Listen to your doctors. If she has to be rolled onto the airplane because she's in so much pain, how is she going to sit down? Because the airplane only was so wide. I don't know. Even if she went to first class, I don't even know if she could lay. No, you'd have to be on like one of those, those flights where you're going super far in order to have like the bed you can lay down in. First class might give you a little bit of space on a plane like this, but where you gonna? Where, how are you gonna function? You gonna sit on the thing that you can't even sit on right now? And then when there's turbulence and movement, wh where are you gonna go? Because you can't stay in the aisle. This is just dumb to me. Here's another TikToker who says that she regrets getting a BBL, and she outlines some reasons that I think I said in the beginning, and I think you all need to really pay attention to. Here we go. Getting a BBL ruined my life. So I was a teenager in the 2010s. When Instagram was new and like the it girls were Instagram models and all these girls started getting BBLs, the bigger your ass was, the more successful you were going to be. I saw Kylie Jenner do it and I was like, oh my God, I need that. And I grew up watching like Kim K's butt, like triple in size every year. And I was like, I need to be her. All the men want her. The reason I'm not getting a boyfriend is because I don't have her butt. So when I got my money up in the 2020s, I spent 15000 on a new ass not realizing it was about to be my downfall. BBLs were straight up a trend. My life completely fell apart after I got one. First of all, I only fit in Fashion Nova. I could not fit in any nice, expensive clothes. Designer clothes, Aritzia, all the cute clean girl clothes. They're meant for skinny girls. I could not get my butt into a pair of jeans for two years. I gained 30 pounds after my BBL. I was the heaviest I have ever been in my life. But that's not even the worst part. The way men treated me was so horrifying. I only attracted the broke, drug addicted, abusive losers. I did not attract anyone who was boyfriend material at all. Because my body was so over-sexualized, you know what I'm saying? I realized something had to change. So I got on Ozempic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this girl had a lot going on. This video was brought to you by Ozempic. Her life turned around after she used that Ozempic. I hope she did her homework on Ozempic as well. I hope she took her time learning about Ozempic and, and, and seeing like all the adverse effects that people have from Ozempic before she just jumped on that train too. Because people jump from one thing to the next. She just was a mess. And she's a beautiful girl. I'm looking at her, she's really pretty. This is crazy. The part where she talked about, about again, the clothing, the type of clothing, clothing that you have to wear with those kinds of bodies. She's absolutely right. If not, you look weird. Think about that first gal from the first video, what I showed, not, not, not the one with the Dorito shape, not Summer Walker, the other lady who I said, look like your cartoon. Um, <laughs> like what you going to wear, ma, what you going to wear? And the over-sexualization part, she's spot on about that because when men see you coming and you look like that, they know what's up. I don't know why. The girl had a, a nice body. I don't know why she would even do this, but take a look at her on stage. From the front, it looks normal. Oh, damn. That's too much junk in the trunk, miss. That's a lot of bungy. That's a big bungy. That bung, you gotta feed that bungie. It, you know what's so crazy? This, her butt, it looks, you know what it reminds me of? 
Danny DeVito inside of Batman. It's giving Danny DeVito and the Penguin when he's wearing his little onesie. A lot of these girls, because you know, like how he was very round. He looked like a little egg with like pencil legs. That's what these gals with the BBL given. Is they given Danny DeVito? This is what I see a lot of. These BBLs killing y'all. And the thighs don't match. Well, 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 well. Turn to your neighbor and say, These BBLs killing y'all. And you can't tell her anything. Look at that. It looked like an. Okay, now it's time for me to draw. I want to talk about another. um, This is a reality star. Her name is Tommy Lee. And I remember watching Tommy Lee on. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta when she first debuted. And I thought she had such a beautiful shape. Tommy kind of crazy. I know if y'all watch Love and Hip Hop, y'all know Tommy's. She's insane. But she had a nice body. And then she went and did this. Oh, yes, I'm drawing. Totally unnecessary. This does not look good. This is not attractive. This looks painful to me. This is not even a natural hourglass figure. And let me show you another angle. Let me hit you with the angles. That. It's like a diaper booty. It looks like a big appendage. It's giving Tommy pickles. It's giving centaur. Y'all know the mythical centaurs? Like half man or half woman, half horse. It's just unattractive. I don't have much to say about this other than she is botched. And I don't know. And the thing is, you could say, oh, I'm going to reverse the BBL. But you think you're going to ever be back to the way you were? No, you will not. You will not. You will be scarred and, and, and deflated. And another thing I always think about, like how you always clean this. Let me go back to Tommy's side. Uh, th this one right here. This. How y'all is clean that? Ladies, if you have a butt that's much smaller and you feel like, oh, I, I don't look so great in, in Fashion Nova. You don't have to look great in Fashion Nova. If you really want that aesthetic, go get you like a padding, uh, you know, like those pants with the pads or something like that to get the look or something. Or go to the gym and do some squats and get a natural butt. Lift weights. If you start lifting weights, like do that stuff to get like a natural butt. You know, a nice, tight, natural butt. Look at Kelly Rowland. Kelly Rowland has a slim figure, but you see her in like certain um, um, videos and onesies and different stuff. She has a nice butt. It, it looks so plump and juicy. Huh? Yes, I said plump and juicy. It looks plump and juicy. And, she ha and it suits her frame. I'm not saying she's a BBL. I'm saying she looks like a natural girl who worked for her butt. And I always think, but how, how y'all is clean this? You know, when you have a smaller butt, there's so many benefits to a smaller butt. I know, because I have a smaller butt. I don't have this, and I don't want that, ever. Never wanted it. But when you, you know, you go to the bathroom, you do number two. You can get some tissue. You don't even use an apology tissue. You wipe. Pow! Done. Maybe, you know, sometimes you have some residuals, so you go in again. Pow! Two. Two times. You clean, then you go in the tub and you wash up because you, you know, you got to wash up afterwards. But when you have a bungee like this, you get in the tissue, you roll in, you roll in, you roll in on a river, roll in, you roll in, then you go, whoosh, pow, whoosh, pow, whoosh, You would to pow in all day because it's so much to clean because it's so much bungee. Be grateful with your two what your pows and a shower. That's a lot of bungee to clean. And if you're not used to reaching back there, you know, because when you have your body, your, your arms, everything you're used to, like cleaning, cleaning yourself because, you know, you're used to it. But now you add a, a bigger appendage and you just, you might not get it clean so well. Be grateful for your smaller butt. These BBLs killing y'all. And the thighs don't match. Well, 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 well. 
Turn to your neighbor and say, let's listen to this guy who says why BBLs are getting old. And I'm, I'm going to wrap up in a minute because this video has gone much longer than I wanted it to. But I have to just, I have to expose these BBLs, man. These botched, bad, ugly BBLs. Hey, I had something to talk about. What you got to say? And this was no not to the women who's doing it. Mm-hmm. But why BBLs are being played out. They're going out. And the main reason is because everybody's looking the same. Is nothing natural than a woman with her own sense of beauty and confidence. Now, I'm not knocking that ones who went to go do it, but all y'all chicks are looking the same. So it's not keeping our attention. The only thing it is, is actually making y'all sex objects to men. Only thing they want to do is just sleep with you. Um, do they want to wife you? Do y'all do they take you seriously? And the majority of men, they don't. So it's like one person said. BBL for the night, natural for life. So women and men, what do y'all think about this BBL going out of style? Well, you, you heard the other lady talk about the fact that um, when she had her BBL, she felt more like a sex object. So what he's saying is is absolutely true. And other women have said this on, on TikTok as well, that a lot of guys only come up to them because they think that they want to sleep with them because it's sexualizing the body. So yes, absolutely. And then to his point about how everybody's looking the same, he's so right. When you have your natural body, you look like yourself. Someone might have a similar shape to you, but they're not going to have the absolute identical shape to you. If they do, it's rare. You're going to have, some people have bigger boobs and smaller butts. People have big boobs and big butts. It's, it, it, something looks different, but everybody has that same Instagram starter package. You got your turkey teeth, you got your BBL, you got your tarantula eyelashes, you got your lace fronts, your makeup is done the same. What else y'all got? You got your Fashion Nova outfit. What else you got? Sky high heels. This is the Instagram starter package. And so the guy's looking at you, you look just like this gal over here, you look just like that gal over here, you look just like that gal over here. You know who, who's going to look different? Oh, shoot, this girl got natural hair. Oh, shoot, this girl have her own body. This is the problem again with the trans. Y'all following trans setter, being a trans setter, trans setter, you be your own individual self, your unique self. And don't do all this foolishness what's going to get you in medical problems later on. I know people are going to say, I had my BBL and I didn't have any issues. I don't know why you would come on here and disrespect the people who had BBLs. I don't believe in BBLs. I don't subscribe to, I don't, I mean, they're not mythical for me to believe in them. I don't, I don't want one. I don't think women should go and do one, get one. And I'm not even against surgical enhancement. I'm not, but I think you are risking your life to get this. The riskiest surgery you could have. I've seen enough women and men crying about this on online, say, oh, I'd never do this again. I wish I didn't do it. All the complications I'm having. Once the floodgates are open, how do you undo them? So no, I'm not going to advocate for no BBLs on my channel. I don't believe in them. I don't, I don't subscribe to them. You see these, you see these pictures? I, I drew these works of art. One day, if y'all want this, let me know. I'll mail these to you. These are works of art. You hear me? Going to be worth millions someday millions nobody no rembrandt you want a rogan look at this works of art because of what you did botched yourself so no i'm not going to advocate for that if you had a great bbl good for you but that ain't these gals and guys who complaining anyway everyone thanks so much for watching my video if you enjoyed it give it two thumbs up leave a comment down below um, let me know, ladies, would you ever, and gents, because like I told you, their men are doing it as well. Would you consider a BBL or are you old school? You'll go about it the, the other way, the hard way, the routine way of going into the gym, lifting weights and bulking up the right way. It's your life. You can do what you want, but you know, just tell me, tell the truth, tell the truth, shame the devil. Love you. Bye. Talk to you next week.